Want to try something interesting? Take a friend to an open space, blindfold them, and instruct them to walk as far as they can in a straight line. You'll be surprised to see what happens. For some reason, when people can't see their goal, they cannot walk in a straight line. And it's not just when blindfolded. When it is cloudy and visibility is low, the same phenomenon occurs. People slip into walking in circles, and sometimes they end up right back where they started. No one seems to know why this happens, but I find it fascinating that the phenomenon occurs. I also find it interesting that many people use the phrase, I feel like I'm walking in circles, to describe their personal or spiritual life at times. This feeling of walking in circles and getting nowhere happens when we lose sight of our goals. The Bible calls this walking in darkness. When we walk in darkness, we are like the blindfolded friend who simply cannot walk in a straight line. It is because we've lost sight of Jesus. He is the light that enables us to walk straight. Notice what Jesus said about himself in John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This light of life is also referred to in the first chapter of John, where we read about the word, Jesus, becoming flesh. It says in verses 4 and 5, In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This is good news for all who feel they've been walking in circles. When you walk with Christ, you no longer walk in darkness because the light has overcome it. Jesus illuminates the path, enabling you to walk in the light. He is also the goal you stay focused on, enabling you to walk to the light. And he is the friend who accompanies you, enabling you to walk with the light. If you start to meander or walk in a circle, which we all do from time to time, he is there to lovingly guide you back to the right path. He does this because he loves you and doesn't want you to be frustrated walking in circles and going nowhere. He wants you to have the light of life. It may be fun to take your friend to an open space, blindfold them, and have them try to walk in a straight line. But that's nothing compared to the joy of seeing your friend walk from darkness into the light of Christ. I'm Joseph Dukach, speaking of life. <music>